there's a few reasons why, for the betterment of both, but in particular for women, why testing is necessary. So for one, they're going to be testing for communication style and compatibility. Real talk, if she cannot sit with you over a meal or over a walk and just talk to you about normal stuff, then that's going to make it feel awkward for her. So part of testing is to see, can this guy hold a conversation? Can he hold an interesting conversation? If I bring up a topic that I think he's going to disagree on, will he actually be willing to like disagree and make the conversation fun? Or is he going to just be yes during the whole night? That's not fun. So that will be a test that you will get. At some point, a woman's going to test to see, okay, I'm going to talk to him and I'll bring up a contentious issue or something that I think he's going to disagree on. Will he actually do it? And so when you don't, you fail the test. And she's like, oh, he's going to be a yes, man. She loses interest. So it's an important test for women to see if you have your own head and your own thoughts about things. Another test, uh, emotional compatibility. Like she wants to know if you're going to be able to handle her emotions and not judge her for them. So there's going to be times where she might say, oh, you know, there's this time where this thing happened and I cried about it. Oh, boo, hoo, hoo, hoo. And she knows it sounds silly, but she doesn't want you to say, oh, that sounds silly. You cried over that. That's no big deal. Because if you do that, guess what? You fail the test. But women are going to throw those kind of things out there to see if you're going to be like, oh, that's, that's the thing that happened. Oh, I'm, I'm sad that that happened. Or sorry to hear that. Like, how do you handle that? Like, they don't want to be judged for when they get emotional, okay? Emotional compatibility doesn't mean you have to feel all the things that she feels. But she does want you to at least be able to understand where her feelings come from and at times empathize with her. If you can't, you're failing that test. But that's why they do it. Another test is trust building. Women are going to do things that are going to be able to test to see if they can trust you. And so you guys get mad at like, she said this thing or like she wanted to see my phone or about this, this, and that. There are going to be certain things she does or asks for that is meant for her to be able to build better trust with you. She might have a ask you a question on like date one that she asks again on date four just to see if you're going to give the same answer that lines up with what you said the first time. That way she can trust that what you say the first time is what you mean the third time, the fifth time, the 10th time. And if you're, and because they, they've had guys that have lied to them. Like date one, they'll say like, oh yeah, I was, I have a job doing this, this, and that. And then date four, oh, I actually have a job doing this instead. Or like how women have had plenty of guys on dating apps be like, oh, I'm six foot two. And they get on the date and the guy's like five foot four or, or like five foot five or five foot six. Like that doesn't build trust. So women have now put things out there to be able to establish trust. Do not be mad when they do this. It is necessary for them to solidify their feelings for you come that two or three months, all right? Another thing, personal boundaries. So you are gonna have women. You're gonna have, go on like a first date that's solid and then a second date. Most women are like, okay, on that second date, he's gonna try to kiss me and probably get me up to my apartment and I don't want that to happen. So you get to the end of the night, you're actually able to kiss her and then you're thinking you're gonna get invited up and instead she's like, oh, I had a great time. I'll see you later. At this point, you have, you have an option. You can either say, great, had a good time. Uh, I'll catch up with you later. Or you could be like, but can I come up to your place? Like that guy in the video. Can I come up to your place? Like, I swear my room, like, I, I won't be up there long. And I just want to watch a movie this net. Now, she she tested you to see if you were going to break a personal boundary. You did. And now you fail and you're out. All right. Uh, another test is uh, decision making. This one happens really early. This happens usually when you're trying to ask for the date. It, whether it's on a dating app or in person, like, hey, I want to take you out. And their response is like, hey, that's absolutely great. What did you have in mind? That question is a test because she's testing to see, are you a guy that's going to be able to make a decision and make plans? Or are you going to leave it up to her to wear the pants and try to plan out a date? And if you come back with the answer, we can do whatever you want to do. You are failing the test before the date even starts. So be mindful when women ask you questions about things, they're usually trying to ask because they want a specific outcome that they're looking for. And so you might think, well, if I know that, then if she asks me where I want to go, shouldn't I just say, well, don't play these games with me. You know where you want to go. No, like she's testing you again because she wants this to work, but she needs you to pass these tests in order for her to further solidify how she feels about you, which is why I use the guy should always be willing to make decisions and if she has an opinion about it, trust me, women will chime in if they don't agree with what you're trying to do. But most women want to test to see if a guy's the kind of guy that's going to make decisions that allow her to bask in her femininity and just go with the flow. All women want to do on dates is go with the flow. More often than not, I have found when I'm planning dates, women will come back later. Oh, I just love, Harry, that you plan everything. I just know I can just throw on some shoes and a dress and just be pretty and feel feminine and quote, quote, want to do you later because you took care of things so effortlessly that all I want to do is just think about how horny I am for you. 
But yeah, if, if you don't make decisions, women don't get to feel that. And then you fail the test and you lose out on a woman that probably would have actually wanted to be with you long term had you been able to be that guy and pass the test of making a decision. Another one, um, compatibility under stress. So this means that let's say you get to like the second month, right? And she's like, okay, I tell you guys, it takes two or three months for a woman to solidify her feelings. Around that second month, she's getting pretty darn close to wanting to be with you. But she's like, but you know what? I need to see how he is under pressure because he likes me now when everything's all peaceful, but what if there's a little tension? And so usually around the second month mark is when women are going to throw things out there that are going to cause a little bit of tension. And most men don't understand this because we like consistency. So when we get to that second month and she like says something off-putting or suddenly disagrees with us on something that she normally agrees with us on, we're like, what's going on? And what's happening is things have been going like this and she needs to see what happens when things go like this. And most guys can't handle it and they lose out on getting a girlfriend by month two because something just magically happens that's stressful and then all of a sudden he's calling her out her name or he starting, starts breaking down or he can't emotionally handle stuff. And so a woman needs to test that because when life throws stuff at you in real time in a relationship, she's going to be like looking at you to see, can you handle the situation? And if you can't handle a little bit of contention under stress, she knows she can't trust you later on. So yeah, women are going to test that because guys are lie. Guys are like, oh, I can handle anything. This and that. I'm always, I'm always best under, under pressure. Yeah, you can verbally say that, but she has no actual proof of that. So she might try to test that to see if that's actually true. Again, if it's being, if it's testing, don't be mad, guys. It means that she wants you to pass the test. Uh, another thing here is assessing long-term compatibility. So basically, if she's thinking about getting into a relationship, she has to really look at, okay, Long term, could this actually work out? Do we have the similar goals? Do we like the same things? Do we see ourselves wanting to do a uh, live life together in a similar way? And, and, and so that's important. And so they're going to test things to see, okay, could I actually see this guy in a long term? Might start, you know, you might might be walking the place and she's like, oh, look at that cute dog. That dog is so is so so uh, cute or whatever. I would love to have a dog like that. Testing you to see if like is he a dog person or oh, look at those those two kids over there. Oh, they're so cute. Oh, it'd be so nice to have twins one day to see if you want kids and to see if you want twins. And so these are things that are gonna be thrown out there just for you to catch, be like, hey, oh yeah, the kids, the kid looks cute. I'd love to have kids someday too, blah, blah, blah. Like it's a, it, I don't, all this stuff's gonna seem like just passing conversation. But I assure you, these are all tests that women have learned to passively give to guys to give radar. Because again, if they just came to us and said, hey, so-and-so, so I wanna know if you'd be cool with this or that, or if you'd act a certain way or this and that, all guys are gonna be like, yeah, I would totally, I would never, oh, I'd be this guy. It's very easy for guys to lie. So. They're not going to ask you directly. They're going to indirectly do or say things to test you. All right.